Oh hi there, welcome back to Guild Source. I'm your host, Zale, and today we'll be in the shadow of a shadow. We're privileged enough to be following a member in a top team. Team Guso lead Rar as he plays the thief profession. Just wait for tournaments to come out. These guys are going to dominate. It's going to be great. Normally we've had this segment at the end of our match cast, but it's popular enough for its own epic video. This is the first of many tactics and replays. Many professions get comfortable with an opener when they enter combat, learn to anticipate and recognize them, and react to them. So here we see him dodge right when he's going to use Heartseeker, which is a Heartseeker rogue, and then learn to uh, just dodge at those times it's going to completely throw off that opener, especially if it has an immobilize or a daze that that's gonna, they have required for their next abilities to do tons of damage. And in this case, uh, kind of recognize that Heartseeker rogues like to spam their Heartseeker, so you can dodge twice and completely ruin everything for them. Keep swinging after a thief's stealths, because most likely you can get some good hits in, and in this case he went in the down state, but it was most likely due to the fact that Rar used steel, and that probably killed him before he went in stealth. Stealth stomps? Stealth stomps! Use them to get more surefire stomps. Thieves, what? They're a good stomper? Yes, they are. The method he's using is on the 7 utility ability Shadow Refuge, AoE Stealth. There's a few ways to mitigate it, but most likely you're gonna get that stomp. Lol, what? Scythe when you cast Shadow Refuge? Interesting. Stealth reses! Stealth reses! Now, if your mesmer friend that you're stealth rezzing is uh, gonna teleport to another area and create a clone, it's gonna be hard for you to know exactly which one it is. I'm kinda seeing that the symbol is different. It looks like the one is grayed out, that's the actual clone, I think. But definitely you can also see if any spell effects, as you can see here, uh, it leads to one of them and that'll tell you where your friend's going. This is actually insane. He travels across the map, infiltrator's arrow, up to the ledge, and lays an immediate shadow refuge, literally without a second to spare before the stomp. All without leaving combat. Make sure if you're being rezzed, though, in this way, not to attack an enemy because it'll break the stealth, and if they're still stomping you, you will get stomped. Let's just see again how quick he laid down the shadow refuge. Low on health and about to die, play mind games. Rar is gonna use Shadow Step right here, which is a move that allows you to target another area, teleport to that area, and then return back to your previous area that you first Shadow Stepped from. And he's gonna use that to go away from these guys. They're gonna chase him, and then he's gonna Shadow Step back and Infiltrator's Arrow away. It's hilarious. Here's another example. It's about to die. If you haven't seen this, look at that. Good luck killing a thief when there's platforms around. And one more example. And one more example. The moves that a thieves can steal is extremely powerful. The steal move is on the F1 and it will steal an ability and when he steals from the warrior, it's whirling axe. which, as you can see, is doing just absurd amounts of damage, especially with his build, which is Glass Cannon E. So you just gotta make sure to get out of there when you go low health, but look at that damage. In addition to Pistol Whip, yeah, stay out of that. Looks like they're not gonna go for this node here, but he will use Shadow Step to go over there, grab that steel, and then Shadow Step back. So he stole that Whirling Axe. As he's always going for the Warriors, but there are other classes that you will see Rar and other thieves stealing from, including Mesmers and Rangers. Check out this warrior thief clash. The thief is gonna put down choking gas, get some initiative rolling, and to put down that field en route to the node. The warrior's gonna walk through it and have a high stack duration of poison and weakness. That poison's just gonna hurt really bad and uh, make it so that he can't heal well, and weakness is gonna make fumble on the non-crits. So 50% fumble on non-crits, which reduces damage by 50%. So it's just gonna lower the damage of that burst. And he's a great sword warrior. So the thief is gonna anticipate that he's going to use bull's charge or the, the charge on the five of the great sword to start that burst. And so notice that he is going to dodge roll right out, mitigating the setup for the hundred blades and everything for that warrior. And then he's just gonna not have anything to do at that point because his setup's gone, his flow is gone, and he's gonna get the stomp on there. This ranger comes up thinking he was gonna have a good 2v1 fight, easy as pie, but no, the warrior went down, and so will he. Check out this potential for sniping the boss mobs. He shadow steps in, use the pistol whip and steel, and shadow steps out, infiltrator's arrow for general badassness. 
Again, low on health, stay at max range and use your short bow if that's what you're going for. Use the poison field and the cluster bomb to ignite the poison field and apply even more weakness to the people sitting there. Snipe from all the way max range because then you're out of range of most attacks and people aren't going to see you. You're very fragile, especially with your glass cannon. And then you can pop in and use that whirling axe to finish everyone off if you have it. Oh, and if a downed player could possibly res themselves with the 4 ability bandage in the fallen state, hit them first before you go for the stomp because that'll stop their healing, it's going to interrupt the heal and start the cooldown for the bandage ability and you'll be able to safely get that stomp. Celebrate victory over a no defending opponent's corpse by flailing about amorously. Props to RAR for supplying this footage. See the next video when it's out for more gameplay from RAR and a build guide from RAR setup. And uh, what profession do you want to see the Guso team show you next? We're going to go through all of them, but just let us know which one you want to see first in the comments below. Let me know. I haven't made as many videos as I've wanted lately because the game's out and I wanted to play it, but now I'm back at it, so expect more soon. See you guys. Bonus clip, Heartseeker the Wall for maximum damage and lulls.